Yo, my name's Tyler Potts and today we're going to be reviewing Deeply's filament brand which is available on Amazon. Now guys, Deeply has sent me out four different types of filament. As you see in those videos, they come in boxes. And the first stuff we got was the PLA Plus here. So we got PLA Plus, two rolls of this. This is the, I think the sky blue. The sky blue color, yep. And also another PLA Plus in a purple. Uh, this one's still uh, packaged up and as you can see this is how it come and from the video the little edit you just saw that they also came in boxes as well. Now aside from PLA Plus we were also just sent PLA as well and there's a nice bright yellow colour here as you can see. Uh, here's the packaging it looks really nice it comes pretty much like most uh, of the brands you get on Amazon which is really nice. Now on top of that I got another PLA which is a grey however this grey is called marble and I don't know if you can see there but this has a like marbly black stony vibe to it and I absolutely love this for decorations around the house. This one is my favourite the sky blue looks amazing and yeah so we're going to review this um, today and the first thing we are going to print with standard PLA in the yellow is going to be Benji so watch this. Alright guys, so after that, as you can see, we have 3D printed ourselves a little Benchy. Now, there is a little issue here where it started stringing and a bit of sagging, but I believe that might be due to a small bit of black filament that was for some reason residing in my, um, uh, inside of my nozzle. That's the one. Uh, but hopefully that's all come out because the actual quality of the whole thing has come out really well other than that small little section here, which I believe was probably to do with my printer and not this filament at all. Um, but as you can see, this came out really well. It looks pretty decent. It's got good quality. The layer lines are, well, as standard. Um, and yeah, so this is cool. Now this is a Benchy I printed with Bamboo Labs um, filament. So just as a comparison, I normally use Bamboo Labs, um, but this is a much cheaper, much more affordable uh, filament. Uh, it, I think it's between 10 and 15 pound a roll um, on Amazon. Um, and we also have Bamboo, which is around 20 pound plus on uh, Bamboo Labs. So yeah, so here's the one come out. Now this one, I have to say, definitely is slightly better. You can definitely tell there was less stringing and less sagging, but not massively. Other than this one issue here, which again, I believe was probably my 3D printer having some sort of meltdown. Um, this has come out pretty well. The layer lines on the actual hull at the front are exactly the same. The actual level of detail is the exact same. Um, yeah, I think overall this is a really good competitor for a on-budget brand here. Now, I also went and used the PLA Plus in the sky blue to create the NASA fabric, as it's called. And this stuff is super cool. I really like this. I might print a whole bed of this and just see what it looks like. But um, this is what we got here. Really bendy, really strong considering it's PLA Plus, uh, meaning this fabric has a lot of wiggle room and I can give it some proper um, hit there. And now, oddly enough, I printed a camera mount with the yellow filament as well. Um, I don't know why I chose to use normal PLA because this is a functional part. However, this PLA is standing up to test. I cannot snap. I could really twist. I don't know if you can see the strain in my face, you know, but you can see here, this has come out pretty dang good considering here. The, um, the actual thread was a bit stiff, but once with a bit of twisting, as you can see, it's now really good and really usable. So I can slot my phone into this, slot my phone into this, tighten it up and look at this. It is fully in here and just set. It will not slide out. And that is the just standard PLA on the yellow as well, which is really cool. 
Now, guys, my favourite part of this, my favourite prints to do are with the marble. Uh, and it's kind of a little house decoration. So, for my, me and my partner, I've decided to do a cool little marble. Now, let's see if you can get this, the marbling effect. You can see that sort of marbling effect going on there. Um, and, yeah, you can see how it looks. This is with 0% infill as well, by the way. So, it's nice and it's actually, oddly enough, quite strong. I could crush it with my hand if I wanted to, but it's, it's still re come out really well considering it has zero percent infill um, and then we have the tea here as well you can see all the little details coming in I don't know if I could turn the light a little to give this a bit better but look there you go you can see that all that marbling effect coming through um, and then also to go with that is a little heart as well so it's actually really cool I really love this material it'd be great for fastest phases however you want to pronounce it um, it'd be really cool for just decorations around the house I love the marble one it is my favorite personally now guys I want to show you one of my favorite prints I've done is with the marble again and that is this monkey d luffy so if you're a one piece fan or an anime fan you'll probably know who this is uh, and look at this like a little statue guy really cool obviously pretty small but fits in part of my hand um, but yeah, he's pretty cool. Little Monkey D. Luffy, which I printed with this. And the detail on him, again, has come out really well. It's so good. The filament doesn't lack detail. It doesn't string um, insanely. And obviously, I haven't dried this filament. I believe if I dried it, it'd be even better. Um, but yeah, I it come here and I've used it as it is, straight from the packaging, without drying it or anything like that. And it's come out really well. Um, and I would say, I also have used Elegoo as well. It's one of the other... Um, prints I use. I've got this Elegoo matte PLA here, pink. Also Bamboo Labs ones and more Elegoo as well. Um, so I've used a variety of different ones and so far this one comes pretty much on par with Elegoo as well. It's really good and it's a really good budget friendly um, alternative to Elegoo. The only difference on this, I think, when it comes to these two boats right here is this sagging here. Again, there was a little bit of black lines coming in here, but again, I believe that was my printer. Yeah, the only thing is the sagging on this was a little bit more, but again, this has not been dried, whereas my Bamboo Labs filament, I believe this one was dried before I printed this. Um, so yeah, it could also mean when this is dry, it'll be on just the same part. Now, the range of colours you can get for Deeply on Amazon is insane. There were so many different colours from yellows, greens, blues, different types of shades of blues, blacks, whites, greys. All of those are on the store as well. So definitely don't forget to check the links out in the description to have a look what they actually currently are selling. So compared to other Amazon branded Elegoo, Eason and stuff like that, um, I can only give you ex really a comparison on Elegoo um, and the... Um, quality difference in that and I would say they are basically the exact same. They are really good, really close. I couldn't tell you if one's better than the other or not from the prints I have done. They have worked really well and the PLA Plus and the PLA both come out at really good standards, especially when printing um, basic household things, decorations and cool little fun things like this. So far I've had no issues actually with the prints or any uh, major string and that's caused issues with my 3D printer, uh, touch some wood. Um, but yes, it's so far come out really well. The colour range is good for Deeply. Um, in terms of comparison to somewhere like Bamboo Labs, obviously I believe this is probably dried at Bamboo Labs and shipped out. So it comes in a much better quality than um, it would from... Um, anywhere else. Obviously this brand is only £15, 10 to £15, I cannot remember the exact price. Um, whereas the um, bamboo ones can go up to 20 or even some like the TPU and that is up to the £40 mark. Um, so it's a much higher priced uh, mark up there. But I would say in massive comparison, I probably would pick deeply in t for everyday things, especially even some projects I'm going to be doing in the future. It's really not that bad. And I think if I dried this, this would come out incredibly well. Um, it, I say the margin, the difference is about 5 to 10% difference when you actually look at the quality uh, overall. And that's the only thing I can say. But that's going to be it for this review, guys. So deeply, 100% worth the money it is. It's so good. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check the links out down below in the description. I hope you've liked this review. If you like this review, let me know down below and I will and I'll review more filament in the future. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.